All right, here we go. Um, we were looking at Bernoulli's experimental activity. We actually found the data points, okay? Um, and we are now going to, well, in the last video, we shared our video with our points uh, to Dropbox, so you guys are going to definitely do that. Now I want to take this data file. And we're going to take this data file over to um, graphical. Okay. And I'm just going to be as expeditious as I possibly can be here. From graphical, we are going to go ahead and set this for one graph. And I want to go ahead and take this over to a table. I'm going to share this with Microsoft Excel, which you can see right here. So it's, it's basically the same procedure that we've been doing all along, okay? And we want to make sure that we convert and edit this, and we want to place this into our Bernoulli folder. So you see we have a bunch of different folders here, 20 degrees and pendulum and rotation. So we want to put that into our Bernoulli folder, so I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And once we save that, I'm just going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. This first column is our time column. And then we have our X, our Y position, velocity, and the X and Y. We're going to go ahead and hide our time. And we want to hide our X and Y velocities. We don't need them. So we need to distinguish between uh, our data sets here. And this first data set right here from uh, 0 to 22, 0 to 22, 0 to 22. You keep going on and on and on. And then you're going to run into a scenario where you see uh, 0.06 to 0 0.001. So we want to distinguish these two. And I'll just make those, I'll make the first set light gray, and I'll make the set set, the second set, it looks like more than 10. I'll make that something like light orange. Okay. So the first set, I'm just going to insert a label, and I'm going to call this kinematic. Kinematic equations, and I want to go ahead and merge these two cells. It's going to represent all of that data. And I want to go ahead and insert above here. I'm going to change this color to just white again and we're going to call this Bernoulli. So this is our our data for Ber I should call it Bernoulli's data. And I should say kinematic data. So let me go ahead and pull this over here. Bernoulli's data, and let's call this kinematic data. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go through each one of these and insert a column above. And we just want to make sure that our data is in the right position here. So I'm going to even do that for Bernoulli's data. One, two, three, four, and five. So uh, the x, the 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 data in the x are in the x direction for Bernoulli's data is superfluous. So, in other words, we don't need it. So I'm just going to go ahead and make that black. And we're going to do our calculations here. So let me go ahead and probably should have done that last. But I'm going to go ahead and say equals to B2 minus B3. I'm going to go ahead and color that yellow. And I'm going to use my fill function to generate both the X and the Y displacements for the kinematic data. 
and I'm going to copy that and let's just go ahead and go through and paste that all the way through okay and I'll do that here as well this is why I say I should have done it at the end oh actually I don't need to I'm just gonna go back and I'll do the same thing here and I'll say equals to our final position which is the which is C19 you know what I better stay stick with what I was saying earlier I'm gonna call this the absolute value absolute value of the final position minus the initial position. So that's going to give us the appropriate measurement. Then I'm just going to copy that and go down and paste it all the way through. And in the next video, we'll do the averages of this. I probably should do the averages right now. Since it's so easy, I, I want to do it in the next one, but I'll do them in this. So we'll have three averages. Okay, so I'll call this averages. And I'll merge these three cells. And this is going to be kinematic data. And this last one is going to be, let me do this, it's kinematic data, and this is going to be Bernoulli's. Okay, so this is going to be the average. I'm just going to go ahead and say equals to, and I need to pull this, actually, I need that back up. A, V, E, so this is going to be our average and I'll just go ahead and start selecting these and I'll do this one comma this one comma comma And I'll just put a check mark in there. And so you'll see we have our average. I'll select fill, drag that over. Mm -mm. Fill, drag that over. Now we have our kinematic, we have our averages for that. Now we need to do the same thing for Bernoulli's equation. I'm just going to say average. And remember, the Bernoulli's data is down here. So I'm going to say comma. Just select this, comma, 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 and return. So we have not only our kinematic equations, our averages for our kinematic equations in the x and the y, we also have our, um, our height for Bernoulli's equation. Cool beans.